They say the smart need students never keep all their eggs in one basket. A smart need student never is dependent only on one exam, basically the NEET exam. Yes, there is no replacement to get into MBBS via NEET, but you should always have a plan B or a plan C. Because if something bad happens, God forbid, you should know what are the other opportunities that you have in that particular year. And some of these courses are not just any random alternatives, but really good alternatives because considering the future scope and demand, these fields might actually be so popular that you might actually regret not taking one of these. And some of the entrance tests actually serve like a mock test to tell you where you stand in the real competition. So each and every exam, what I'm going to talk about is very important. So stay tuned till the end. This is your Captain Stress, your master teacher training kids, mentoring them for the past 13 years on the Vedantu Neat English channel, the number one Neat English channel in the country. I hope you have subscribed. And yes, like the video right away right now so that you can tell YouTube, no, show me more videos like this because that's how the YouTube algorithm works, right? So thank you for liking and thank you for subscribing. Let's get to the first one, which is CUET, Common University Entrance Test conducted by NTA gained immense popularity after its introduction. Lots of students give it. You get direct admission into central and state universities, which are very popular and also very respected. Now, the best part is you can seek admission into different streams, including commerce and arts, but you will not be interested in there. Science streams. So most of the BSc courses, you can say, and things like BSc in biology, microbiology, botany, zoology, biotech, BSc, even forensic sciences, again, medical stream, Environmental sciences is gaining a lot of popularity and psychology, which is needed in today's world because of the stress that we live in. So these are some really amazing courses and it has a lot of scope in the future. So if you are really interested in any of these, then please go ahead and give the CUT exam. Okay. And the best part, it is conducted two times. So even if you don't do well the first time, you can score better the next time and the best of the two scores are considered. Yeah, it's conducted two times in one single year. Got it? Fair enough. Now, the syllabus, by the way, is very similar to NEET exam. All right. Now, the next one is IAT. This is an entrance test to seek admission into ISERs. Now, there are seven ISERs in our country. Okay. And these ISERs are purely made for the purpose of research and development. If you are thinking of engineering, no, this is into research and development. And I know a couple of my students who left their government medical college seat to seek admission into ISER because they were interested to become a scientist or get into R&D in some company or maybe for the government. Now, they also offer PhD programs, right? And there are a lot of new research uh, colleges which have started accepting IAT scores for their admission process. Best ones, IIT. Yes, you can get into IIT Madras and IIT Guwahati. There are biomedical courses in these IITs which were recently launched and they have started accepting IAT scores, ISER aptitude test scores. Now this test is not as easy as NEET, it is slightly difficult, let me warn you in advance. But yes, the number of people giving it is also not too many and you will see that the seats are limited. So yes, it is slightly competitive. But yes, if you are interested in research, I am pretty sure you will be training yourself in that direction. And if you are already preparing for NEET, uh, it should not be that difficult to push yourself a little more for preparing for IIT. It is usually conducted in the month of June. Okay. Now, they have a lot of good labs, facilities, uh, research and development facilities and, you know, faculty, the campus is really nice. So, definitely you should look forward for this. It's a very good alternative. Next one is ICR, IEEA which is an entrance exam again conducted by NTA, but this is for BSc Agriculture, Horticulture, Forestry and Fisheries. Although these are very niche fields, they have a lot of demand and they also offer good pay, especially in the government sector, because usually these departments come under the government and there are a lot of scholarships and there are good job, stable prospects and there are growing opportunities even in the research, even in the agricultural business because farmers are reducing, more engineers and doctors are there. And obviously, you need more food for the ever-growing population, right? So that is why, you know, these uh, fields are growing and they have a lot of money into it. 
Having said that, the next one, if you are interested in BSc nursing, BSc medical tech, or even operation theater, I mean, why go to a private college when you can get into AIMS? And this is a separate exam conducted by AIMS itself. And if you are looking forward to become a nurse or open your, uh, you know, um, I would say, uh, or diagnostic center and or you want to go into operation theater technology, please look forward for these courses and this particular test conducted by AIMS. All right. Okay. Next one. Next. Just like you had the IAT for ISER, you have the NEST exam for NISER. Now, this is also, again, a government organization, government funded, okay, very less fees. Also, you not only get admission in NISER, but also in the atomic energy sector as well. Yes, Homi Baba Atomic Center, which is there in Mumbai. And it has integrated MSc programs in Earth and Climatic Sciences, Chemistry, Physics, Maths. I'm not sure if you'll be interested, but there are. It has again got very uh, good government backing. Very few seats are there because just imagine two institutes. And this is also again slightly of the level of uh, IIT only. The level is higher than need, but you can push yourself if you are already in the flow. And it has got good internship opportunities, research opportunities, and usually get placed into the government sector. Okay, that is what NEST exam is all about. Then, of course, you have BITSAT. Now, BITSAT is very popular. And this exam gives you admission into the Birla Institute of Technology and Sciences, like Hyderabad or Pilani or Goa, right? You can, although there are engineering courses, but there are some streams which are related to biology, like B Pharma is there, MSc Biological Sciences are there. And I know a lot of neat students who gave the exam and they are very happy in the BITS campus. And the campus are really amazing. A lot of fest and a lot of cultural activities and you know technical activities and the alumni base from bits college is very very strong that is one thing which any bitsian will boast about yeah alumni are basically the network of friends and batchmates and juniors and seniors that you develop over a period of time even after passing out of college and these connections are very important they also have pharmaceutical uh, you know you can go into pharmaceutical industry bio research and drug development or new drug discovery so a lot of career pathways and best part about bits is they offer you know minor and major degrees meaning even if you go into one degree let's say after some time you realize i also want to study chemistry or i also want to study ai then you can get a minor degree while preparing for your major degree and the attendance in bits is negligible because they believe in uh, you know uh, the fact that if a lecturer or if the class is good even if you uh, have no rules still students will attend okay so the quality of education is very good then of course j means sir j what are you saying man this is the best mock test you can give and please attempt only the january attempt unless you want to explore the engineering options january why why not april because april will be fully into neat preparation i don't want you to get demotivated or distracted now the january attempt is going to be a very good practice uh, or mock test i would say in fact when we met many of the students who come out of the exam center many of them used to be the neat students and i'll tell you one funny example where many students who said they are neat but writing j as a mock test they attempted only physics and chemistry yet they scored 98 99 percentile even after completely skipping the mathematics section so that shows the level of preparedness and how Need students take J exam seriously, plus it's conducted by NTA, syllabus is same. In fact, now though the difficulty level has also become equal in physics and chemistry. So, you better give this examination. All right, the registrations usually open up in November, December time frame. Next is state common entrance tests. Many people end up ignoring this, but if you are living in, let's say, Kerala or Karnataka or Andhra, Telangana or Maharashtra, you should definitely give these entrance exam because they give you opportunities again in pharma, uh, in B pharma or agriculture related courses or maybe even in allied medicine, nursing, so many other courses which are there. You can seek admission into the state colleges via your local common entrance test. Yes, you will have to write the physics, chemistry, biology part. You can completely skip the mathematics part. Do not ignore this. Okay. Especially if you are in one of these states, Andhra, Telangana, Maharashtra, Karnataka. Karnataka has KCT, KIM is in Kerala, 
MHC cities for Maharashtra. This is for Telangana and Andhra students. All right. Anybody from these states, please let me know in the comments quickly. Okay. Now, one more exam which you cannot miss is MVSAT, which is happening 4th, 5th, 11th, and 12th of October. Now, this is a national level scholarship test, which is absolutely free of cost. And more than two and a half lakh students are going to write this. Last year also, we had many students who wrote this. And this is not just for the prize money or scholarships that you should give, because yes, there are good prizes. Like when you do well in your region or in your sector, you get prizes from a pool of worth two crores, cash prizes, vouchers, and so many things are there. But the main point is that when you give this exam, you know where you stand. There is a separate test for 11th, separate test for 12th and separate one for dropper students. The syllabus also changes accordingly. So you will know where you stand at the actual national level. And you get a beautiful report card, not just with your rank, but a detailed analysis of what kind of a learner are you? What kind of strengths do you have? Weaknesses, everything. So give this test. Yes, the link for that is there in the description box of this particular video. Register for it absolutely free of cost. It is right now going to be conducted offline. The online version may come soon, but even if there is no center near you, register for it. You never know what things might turn out to be and maybe suddenly the online test will come up. So you better register because even after registration, you get the free counseling material and study material for your preparation. Yes, the moment you register. All right. So start preparing for MVSAT. It's coming sooner than expected. Right. Okay. So these were all the tests and alternatives for need exam. Better give every single one of them, whichever is applicable for you. And make sure that you are staying subscribed on the Vedantu Neat English channel. And also, yes, smash that like button. This was your Captain Shias signing off. Take care.